concept of mutable and immutable very very important basic concept of python so what do you mean by mutable and what do you mean by immutable so yesterday we have seen that a hey, list is a mutable but what do you mean by mutable? that is what we are going to see in detail because once you go in deeper like a data engineering concepts like uh, in spark and big data there mutable and immutable concepts are very very important okay so let me open my notebook so let me explain about mutable and immutable concept here suppose let us take a variable a a equal to 10 so if i take a variable a equal to 10 so we know that python is a dynamically type programming language like we do not specify what is this a called a is an integer we know that so if i just say print hey can you please print print what is type of a so it will show you that hey the type of a is an integer we have seen till here now but behind the scene when i take a equal to 10 what is happening behind the scene that is what we are going to talk about mutable and immutable okay so so what happens when you take a equal to 10 there is an object created so every variable you are creating python will create an object so who is creating there is a python virtual machine that is called pvm behind the scene everything in python is an object so you need to be very clear that everything in a python is an object so what is object and how it will create so this is behind the scene what is happening you cannot see this so for every variable an object is created by this pvm and suppose if i write a equal to 10 so what happens here you get 10 here and this is referred by a so whenever i call a you will get this 10 so if i say a can you please print a for me okay this is print actually print you get 10 okay then if i take b equal to 20 behind the scene now we got a new variable new object is created inside that object the value is 20 and if you want to call this hey this is nothing but b this is referencing to b now this is created somewhere somewhere in your virtual machine it is created somewhere means it should definitely have an address it will have an address so let us take example like it is located at something like one two three so how many digits the id will be it depends on your 16 bits pc or 32 bits pc depending on that it will give you 16 digits or 32 digits so just an example i have taken three digits your B is located somewhere, so it has some ID. For example, it has 2, 3, 4, something like that. Okay. So let us look at this. Now, how to check this ID? ID is nothing but your address. So there is a function called ID. So you just use print. Hey, can you please tell me the address of A? So this will print you the address of A. So let us do that in hands on on our Google Colab and so I have not started yet with a mutable and immutable. So let me just explain you about what is ID. So we'll see ID to check the address. Okay, good. So let me go here. If I say A equal to 10 and if I say, hey, can you please print A for me? And can you print the ID of A? Okay, if I say print next type function, what does type function do? It will just check you what is the type of that A. Okay, very simple. Let me run this. So you can see your A is a created an object. So it is created an object and that object is stored somewhere at this address. It's the address here. Okay, if I take something like B equal to any other value 20 and if I say, hey, can you please print B and if i say print id of b okay if i run this so you will get a equal to sorry b equal to 20 you get 20 here because we asked them to print b and hey what is the address so here you are getting something different here you are getting something different so both are different ids okay 
so everything looks fine now but what is my question here okay if i take if i take not b equal to instead of writing b equal to if i say a equal to so we have done this many times like we, i'll take a equal to 10 then next step i'll take a equal to 20 now tell me what happens just think of so if i say a equal to 20 what will happen now so it will create a new object it will create a new object with a new id a new id so now you may think like hey then what happens for this a equal to 10 so this a equal to 10 will go to your garbage collection garbage collection so this object goes to your garbage collection now after this whenever you call whenever you call a suppose if i write after 20 30 lines of code if i say hey can you please tell me what is print a what is a value hey a value is 20 only then you may think like hey i have given a value as 10 before yes you have given but this object has gone to the garbage collector you cannot retrieve this data later on but whatever you take a latest value a new object is created so here i am going to focus on now so it is not happening happening like this so it will not go and change this value 10 to 20 it is not changing the value of 10 to 20 so it is not changing that is what immutable is immutable means the value the value do not change do not change so let me do it and hands on let me come here yeah so now if i say we have seen the let me delete this first okay i don't want to be now i have taken a let me rerun this so you get some address yeah beautiful you can see here. now if i say a equal to it is 20 now okay 20 i'll just print id of a so if it is immutable you will be getting a different address not a same address so you can see we got a different address it is 296 it is 976 so we are getting two addresses what does it mean so let me explain again so if i just take a equal to 10 a new object is created the value is 10 here and the, this object if you want to refer this this is a so next if i say a equal to 20 it will not change here it will not change here it will not do this but it will create a new object the value will be 20 and the reference reference to this object will be your a so whenever you call a it will print so this concept is called immutable so immutable is the value inside this object do not change every time it will create a new object every time it will create a new object. so if you take any fundamental data types so we have seen fundamental data types what are fundamental data types your int your string your bool your float and complex so these five are five fundamental or the basic data types are immutable okay so again i'll give you a little bit confusion now so immutable means it can be two meanings like first meaning is hey the value do not change that is absolutely correct value do not change but if you talk in terms of address can you guess so if you talk about address address changes so these are the two definitions of immutable so you need to be very clear so definitely if you're going for any interview it, they will ask you about what is mutable and immutable so the value do not change inside the object and but the address changes at the same time is what your immutable means if i call a value again print a and if i run this 
So you will be getting 20 only. You are not getting this A. So what happened to this 10? So this went to a garbage collection. So this will not retrieve again. So if you are taking 10 lines of code again, if I recall this A, you get A as 20 only. So this is what immutable is. Can you think on what would be the mutable one? When you talk about mutable, let me take an example of mutable. Your value changes inside this object, but address do not change. Okay. So the example for mutable is, yes, what we have seen yesterday. So least is a mutable. So what is least? I'll just explain you. So we have seen about least. So how to define a list? It will be in this square brackets. Suppose if I say 10, comma, 20, comma, I can take anything, a string also. Let me take Python here. Okay, now let me use. So what is happening behind the scene? Your Python virtual machine is creating one object. That object is like this. And the value inside this are 20, 10, 20, and something like Python. Okay. Now, uh, ID is created for this. Hey, there is an address for this. I know that there is an address. Now, if I say that, hey, can you please change the value of first index? So, first index is 10. Can you please change it to 100? So, let me change it. What is the first index? So, we have seen about index. We will see in detail. So, L of 0, can you make it to 100 now? And can you print L now? So, your value will be changed from 10 to 100 so your value is changed here and your id remains same so this concept is called as mutable let us do that in real time so let me go to i uh, google collab here and let me take l equal to this is a list so i'll take 10 comma i'll take 20.5 comma let me take a string python so heterogeneous objects are allowed in pi list so let me print this. Hey, print L for me. And now I'll say that, hey, can you please change the 0th index, that is the 10th index, to 1000. And let me print, let me print L now and check. Now, hey, before changing it, I want to see the address also. So let me print the ID of L. And later on, let me print the id of l again okay so this is the same variable l so if there is a change happening there is a change happening inside the object the address remains same let me execute this and now you can see it was 10 20.5 python now it is 1000 20.5 python it has changed but but the address did not change so this concept is called as this concept is called as Yes, new table. Thanks for watching us. Keep learning.